I'm Dr. Flux, and in today's video, we're looking at another 3D printed blaster. Now, I know I'm a little late to the party with this one because this uh, Hyper Blaster has been out for a bit, but I was able to get one from Captain Slug, and uh, he even was kind enough to do it up in my colors. I love how this thing turned out. But so today in this video, we are going to take a look at this. I'm going to get some chronograph readings, check out its accuracy, and then kind of go over the build. And I'm just going to show you how to build one of these. Super easy build, great instructions, but I figured I might as well just uh, show some build process. So let's go ahead and jump right into the video. So I am very excited to get my hands on the first Hyper Blaster. The Hyper line looks really cool and... Listen, you smooth brain, meat vessel. The HYPR is a blaster created by Captain Slug roughly April of 2020. The Nerf Hyper line is a new line of Nerf blasters that has just now been publicly announced. What? Who? There is no way you have one because you are not even a blip on Hasbro's radar. Um, okay, exactly who are you? I was created by Flux Labs to be your personal fact checking assistant. Um, okay. I don't know why I need a little snarky bot. Protocols dictate that continued unwanted insult will result in physical contact. Hey, you're the one that started with the insults. Excuse I am me? an ASHAT bot, or automated secretarial helpful assistant teller. You can call me Asshat3000. <laughs> Your name is Asshat? Are you serious? You know what? I gotta show you how cool this thing is. <laughs> Initiating listen only mode. I should take care of that. But yeah, this thing is called Hyper and uh, it's just kind of coincidence that, you know, I received this Hyper Blaster right when Hyper was actually uh, announced um, from Hasbro, so kind of cool. I figured I would kind of play with the name a little bit, but um, yeah, I'm, I'm a big fan of this thing. This is uh, just a, it's a Hammer Prime Blaster that shoots one shot. I've already seen there's still a lot, there's a lot of stuff on Thingiverse that you can kind of print out to, to modify this thing, so that's really cool. And the FPS is pretty much on par with what he said, so... This thing hits with uh, the double bands. If you if you put the bands up like this, it will hit up to around 80 FPS. Uh, he says 90. I couldn't really get it up to, to 90, but then again, I probably ha don't have a good seal or something. Yeah, my seal is not that great. So, you know, with, with the seal that it has currently, and that's kind of my fault, uh, this thing still is hitting around, you know, 75, 80. So really good. Uh, you can also change the bands and reconfigure them different ways to play with the FPS. So that's a lot of fun. I like to see that on the fly because you can do that in the middle of a game. You know, if you needed to kind of change your configuration around, you, or maybe, I don't know if you could put three bands on it, but uh, you can definitely mess around with the band tension. So really innovative. I, I like, I just like what he did here. And I'm curious to see, you know, what other cool stuff he develops because the guy is, is always making amazing stuff. Truly, he is a pillar in the uh, 3D printed blaster realm for uh, this hobby. So let's go ahead and jump into my build log. I'm just going to pretty much go along with the instructions and uh, just kind of show you my build on this blaster. And uh, after it's put together, we'll kind of give our final thoughts. So let's go ahead and jump right into that footage. So first up, let's get an O-ring. Looks like it is the let's see what sort of size we have for O-rings here. Looks like uh, they're all the same. All right, so we're grabbing one of these O-rings. We're gonna fold it and feed it into this part right here. All right, it says take the uh, base print and slide the, slide the barrel through the front half of the base print. Add the uh, number 16 sized O-ring. All right, once that's on there, then we are using our screws. Just throwing a couple screws in there. All 
And we are adding a one half O-ring. Says the barrel should be roughly one half an inch away from the front face. I guess that's about here. About like that. All right, then we're throwing an O-ring on here. And we're grabbing one of these arms and screws in both sides. Okay, so we're gonna make sure this is lubricated. All right, next part is we are sliding this onto here. And we got this back piece. And put screws in. All right, next up we are securing these together. And let's see, use two 440 screws to attach the grip right to the print, to the Wonder Bar print. So let's go ahead and throw these in. All right, now we are gonna attach the grip here. Looks like I messed up the sequence a little bit, but uh, let me just kind of go back and correct this. So, so this right here, I installed like backwards. So make sure it looks like this, this orientation. And the other thing is this has to be on this pin right here. So that's in there. So we'll go ahead and sandwich this together. All right, next we're gonna put on the Picatinny. which it looks like it just takes a couple pins. Might be easier to go this way. Yeah, I just need to drill these out a little bit. Put a couple screws in there. All right, next up we take the smaller piece of elastic and we're gonna be feeding this through. Well, first you uh, tie a knot on it. So we're gonna tie a knot on the end. I'm not a fan of this stuff, so I'm just gonna hit it with a little flame. And that's just gonna come right up through there. All right, so now we're gonna basically tie a knot here, keeping it a little bit tight, I believe. So I think you wanna, this is basically acting as a, a return spring for the trigger. Pretty interesting design. Cut this. All right, so I think I'm just gonna basically do a knot on this one. Let's see what this looks like.
So we're going to shoot cups every 10 feet. So that's 10, 20, and 30. Yeah, it's pretty accurate. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. So in a nutshell, I am a big fan of this blaster. If uh, you have a hard time getting a hammer shot for, some, for whatever reason, I think this is a great alternative. It is a very good design, very innovative, and just really cool. You're obviously gonna turn a lot of heads with this thing. You know, if you take this to a war or whatnot, people are gonna ask, hey, what is that? Because it's, it's very unique. So. It's worth mentioning that the pistol grip is extremely comfortable. I'm a big fan of that. And for tactics and stuff, it has a nice solid amount of Picatinny up here. So you can put your favorite optic or whatnot, or a flashlight or whatever. Single prime hammer action is really nice. And it has a really good pop to it. Mm. And as far as 3D printed blasters are concerned, this is probably the cheapest one I know of. I, I can't think of... I think uh, Captain Slug actually probably has another one that's a little che cheaper. I think it was like, I want to say like a Wasp or something. But it was similar to this design, but just smaller. But I think this is probably your, uh, I think this design right here is a little better in my opinion. I think it's, it's really nice. So in the end, can I recommend the Hyper? I say definitely. You know, even if uh, I have plenty of hammer shots and double shots and all the other Hammer Prime blasters, but I'm very happy to get one of these because I think this is a very nice, stylish, comfortable blaster and it's definitely unique. So highly recommend it. Price point's pretty good. Uh, this one in particular was sent to me for free. So, you know, full disclaimer. However, I have actually looked at these in the past and I almost bought a couple, to be honest. And I probably will still buy another one because, to be honest, I kind of want to dual wield them. <laughs> I think they'd be pretty cool. Or just do some type of uh, hyper vest where you just have several of them ready to go. and kind of pull them out and fire. And I swear he designed it to make it just like make you want to spin it because it feels so good to spin. I think that was intentional. And it just wants to go right there and ready to rock. Of course, uh, you can also feed uh, two darts in here, two half darts and do a little shotgun blast, which is really cool. Well, that pretty much concludes my review and build log of the Captain Slugs Hyper. Let me know in the comment section if you're a fan of this blaster. Do you own one of these? Are you looking to get one of these? And uh, other than that, I look forward to uh, reading your comments and I will see you in the next video. And as always, happy foam flinging.